Welcome. I'm David T. Phillips, CEO of Estate Planning Specialist, and your host today for the podcast, Estate Planning Made Easy. Now, a long time ago, 1994 to be exact, I wrote a book called Estate Planning Made Easy. It was published first by Dearborn and then subsequently by Kaplan. Uh, three editions were finished, and uh, it actually was a bestseller for a period of time on the New York Times bestseller list. Uh, I had a good run with the book. A lot of people called me. They asked me to help them with their estate planning. I'd been doing, I've been doing estate planning since 1972, and so kind of had a, an expert label on me at that particular point in time. And I've seen so many estate plans throughout my life. And, and have analyzed and recommended different strategies and plans for so many clients uh, all over the country. Um, Network with several key estate planning law firms, uh, specifically the Durfee Law Group now is the group that we're working with and highly recommend. Uh, and I have seen the biggest, I mean, billion dollar estates and just average, average American estates uh, throughout my life. So I wanted to take today in our podcast to talk about the number one estate planning mistake and really how we can avoid that mistake and kind of succinctly tell you the strategies that I would implement to not only get your act together and get your estate planned because our goal is, as a unit, as a state planning specialist, as the name of our company, uh, is to create and help you create a powerful, productive posterity. I think, isn't that everybody's dream, is that your kids and grandkids are producers in society? And uh, at least that's mine uh, and has been. I've shared that goal with my, my kids and my grandkids. And uh, I make it known to them that there is an inheritance waiting for them, uh, but it's contingent upon them um, adhering to the philosophy of being productive. Powerful? Nah, eh, that's all right. But productive for sure. So what's the most common mistake that we, meet, we see time and time again? Well, of course, it's not properly planning your estate. Because if you don't, it will foster the absolute worst traits of human nature, anger, envy, jealousy, hate. Why put your family through that trauma, that nightmare, when you can solve the problem in a few hours by simply creating a well thought out state plan? You know, there was two sisters that were clients of mine and they were both in their nineties. Both had lived really pretty good lives uh, and both had s significant assets. The older sister was older by one year and literally she almost died one year before her younger sister. When she died, she did not have an estate. The first sister died. She didn't have an estate plan. Now, again, you're in your nineties. So you would think that, you know, okay, somewhere along the line, I would draw the line and I would set up a plan. Uh, and the first sister passed with no plan at all in place. And in fact, she actually had, um, a reverse mortgage. Most of the kids thought that they were going to receive an inheritance of the mortgage and they didn't. Uh, because of the reverse mortgage. And there was just, it was a lot of confusion, a lot of turmoil, um, a lot of, a lot of anger actually toward their mother and their grandmother. On the other hand, the other sister passed away, like, and like, like as I said, about a year later. And it was interesting because she had had everything planned. I mean, she had who gets what ring. And, uh, and she didn't have as much, I think, as the older sister, uh, as far as estate assets are concerned, but she definitely had it, a plan in place. 
and a well thought out plan on what would happen when she passed away. And I, I went to both funerals. So, uh, and I'm telling you, it was night and day. Uh, and so my caution to our listeners, to our viewers, is, is simply this. Make sure that you are respectful of your family and that you do design a plan, a logical plan of distribution of your assets. Be they meager or enormous, doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you have this plan in place. Well, so how do you go about it? What's your first step to take uh, to properly plan your state? First thing I would do is I would, if it were me, I would visit our website, estateplanningmadeeasy.com. That's E-P-M-E-Z.com. E-P-M-E-Z.com. And uh, from there, the first thing I would do is I would order my book, uh, recently in its fourth edition, titled The Ten Most Common Estate Planning Mistakes and How to Avoid Them. I mean, it's an easy read. Uh, it gives you guidelines on the mistakes people are making. And then it also gives you the solution on how not to make that mistake for your family. So that's the first thing I would do. Then the next thing I would do is I would subscribe to our newsletter, Generational Wealth Strategies. Go to generationalwealthnewsletter.com, generationalwealthnewsletter.com, and subscribe to uh, Generational Wealth Strategies newsletter. It's authored by myself. I get to be the lead author. My, my article is entitled, or my column is entitled, Strengthening Your Roots. The next segment is written by Rick Durfee, one of my favorite estate planning attorneys in the country. Um, and he writes a column in the newsletter titled uh, Sustainable Legal Solutions. And in each, each month, he gives a litany of solutions um, and, and gives logical reasons why these solutions work in today's world, and especially in today's litigious world where everybody wants to sue everybody. And his, his goal is to make sure that your estate is uh, foolproof, that uh, you can't, the creditors and the predators can't get in and get what you have while you're alive, as well as when you pass away to uh, the next gen. And you think about it, if you, your estate plan is incorrectly set up, you could have um, divorces play into this and, and actually ramp, uh, uh, create a, a tremendous loss in value. Uh, we call it rape and pillage uh, the estate and it certainly could happen that way. And, and so you want to make sure that you have a logical plan in place. Then Todd Phillips, my son, who's the president of state planning specialist, he writes a column uh, ca called the safe money corner. And, um, and each week, I'm sorry, each month, he gives us strategies on how we can keep our estate uh, without, with, and not without losing our estate. Uh, because if we have a poor investment, um, if we invest in Bertie Madoff and, and, and he takes all of our money, uh, we basically didn't do a good job. Of, we weren't very good stewards of our money. And so, uh, Todd gives us suggest suggestions on how to create safe investments that are not at risk and as, and still, do do well in your investments. So that's the safe money corner. And the, uh, the, the fourth column is by Melody Gatz, who is the president and director of the Legacy Global Foundation. And Melody's column talks about charitable giving and how to incorporate uh, charities into your overall estate plan. So it's not all about you. It's not all about your family. You can incorporate um, uh, charitable giving into your plan. So this, the newsletter again is, comes out once a month. It's published by uh, Salem and uh, it's entitled Generational Wealth Strategies, uh, generationalwealthnewsletter.com. Okay, so that's the next thing I would do. Then, then I would uh, then make sure that I get my estate analyzed. And this is our 
estate planning profile. It's a very, very simple one, uh, which ends up creating an estate analysis. And this analysis ends up being your roadmap on how to get from A to Z based on your wishes, on what you want to accomplish, on where you want to go with your estate. There's also a new software that we have on our website called um, the EPIC, Estate Planning Individually Centered. Uh, I love it. Um, it allows you to organize your estate in a way that you just basically do it online and, and fill in the blanks and it really is effective. So I would call 888-892-1102, uh, which is our, our uh, toll-free number, to get started and just say, hey, I heard David on his podcast and I want to get started. I, you either want to do it through the profile and get your estate analyzed. And I would say if your estate is in excess of $3 million, do it that way. If it's under three, then go with the estate organizer or, or use, use, use both um, very, very effectively. Then I would make sure that I would set up a revocable trust, not just a will. A will goes through probate, probate. it's subject to probate, it's subject to public uh, uh, criticism, everybody finds out about it, and uh, it really doesn't do a good job for you. So if your estate is under $250,000, I would definitely do a revocable trust. Um, if it's over 250,000, I would go one step further and I would make sure that I set up a revocable dynasty trust. A little bit different than just a basic revocable trust uh, because it's, it's a trust that never runs out. Uh, as long as there's money in the, in the trust and you have beneficiaries to receive it, uh, money will go out to, to them. So those are the things that I would do. You know, we have power in our hands today. We have, a, we have the ability to set up a logical distribution plan of our estate from one generation to the next. That is power that we have. And we can abuse that power by doing nothing, by ignoring it, by just pushing it under the, I mean, you know, it, it certainly isn't as fun as planning your next vacation, but it definitely is something that you need to do. And you need to do it now while you have your wits about you, while you know what's going on, while you have your, you have capacity to do so and, and not make it, well, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure that he was of sound mind when this happened. Make sure that you are of sound mind now and you get it done and you plan it and you strategically plan. I mean, we have celebrities that time and time again do it wrong. We have Aretha Franklin who knew she had cancer. We had Prince who said he was never going to die. I mean, we have uh, Dianne Feinstein who was a senator, U.S. senator. I mean, no estate plan. I mean, you just can't do that. You, you can't leave your family in a lurch like that. And doing so creates animosity, again, and jealousy and hate where we want to create unity and love and harmony. And that's what an estate plan is. And that's our broadcast for today. We will be back next week and uh, we'll have another subject to talk to you about. So tune in next week. Estate planning made easy and is actually easy. Thanks and make it a fabulous week.